it's Lindy from Stitch and Lindy. I'm doing another weekly update video. Today is Thursday. Who else weighs in on Thursday? I know there's a couple people that do. This week has been great. I'm actually on vacation um, and it's a staycation, I guess, because that's all we can do right now. But um, this was supposed to be March break and March break was canceled and changed to a week in April. I can't even remember the date. I think it's a week before Easter. Um, but yeah, I kept my week off because then I can just relax and be by myself. Um, as much as I, at first I was like, man, it, I really didn't plan this right because Paige is still going to school, which sure gives me my day free, but I still got to wake up early, but it's helping me. Because me having to wake up early and get her to school is me forcing myself to get my walk in. So it's still helping me because if I did not have to go and walk her to school, I would not be getting off my couch. I have taken this week to do literally nothing. I have sat there and crocheted, got caught up on my shows. It's been great. I have two more days left of my um, vacation and I'm enjoying it. It's... I wish that I have the motivation to do more around the house, but I've needed this resting week and um, yeah, um, I have been tracking honestly, but I have not been all that mindful. I will say that I am tracking everything, but I'm not being as mindful as I would like to be. There have been some treats here and there. I haven't been going overboard. Um, but I have upped my potato and my um, bread intake. So my starch, I need to get under control again. So that is what I'm going to focus on this week is getting my starch intake down and under control. Um, so that is what I'm going to work on this week coming forward. Um, I'm still continuing to get my walks in. I have been able to um, get... I think every day but one day so far this week, I've gotten 10,000 steps in, so I'm proud of that. Yesterday, I actually forgot that I had a dentist appointment and I decided to walk to the dentist. Uh, my brother-in-law picked me up, but I walked from one end of the town to the other. So it was a great walk, um, which, so I found this new app. It's called Relive, Relive. I, I don't know how you pronounce it. Anyways. Um, most of you saw me post my video of it. I've shared it on my um, Connect. I've shared it on my Facebook group and I've shared it on TikTok. So you guys have all seen the app. So it's, it's I think it's Relive. Um, and it tracks you. So it monitor, it, you use it on your phone. Um, so you are using your GPS and your, I'm assuming it's using your data. Um, and it's it tracks you from when you start it. And if you take any pictures throughout your route, it can map it where you've taken those pictures and then you can show the pictures along the route. It's really neat how it does it. I really like it. Um, the reason why I did it, I probably won't use it all the time. The reason I did it was because first of all, yesterday I wanted to see how long my walk was going to be to the dentist, which it was two and a half kilometers. And I was shocked this morning I tracked my morning walk because I wanted to see what my actual morning walk is because I don't I don't know the distance. I just know this is how many steps I get in. It's average 2,500 to 3,000 steps I get in for my morning walk. So that's all I've ever known. So I wanted to see what the actual distance was. So I did it this morning and it's 2.5K. Me, my morning walk, I'm shocked just walking around our neighborhood is the same distance that I walked to the other end of town yesterday. I was kind of confused by that, but that's what I do every morning. A lot of people ask me, since I started the 365 Just Walk challenge for myself, how long I walk. So that's the question I get most asked almost daily, if not multiple times a day. So I wanted to track my walk this morning so that I could show this is what I do. Um, so my morning walk is roughly between 25 to 30 minutes. Some days that's the only walk I get in. The rest of my steps are from stuff around the house, um, keeping track of Paige. <laughs> she doesn't stop. Um, just 
daily stuff around the house. So um, there are days where I will get in a second workout or a second walk. Um, on days that it is nice out, I'll try to get a walk in after dinner time. Um, lately it's been nice and as much as we don't like the time change because it messes with our brains, um, I'm, I always love the spring forward because we get more daylight which gives me more of an opportunity to walk after dinner time because most of you know that I stopped walking throughout the winter um, because unfortunately our town is getting a little unsafe and walking at nighttime is not the most comfortable um, to me. So um, I don't feel safe walking at nighttime. As sad as that sounds, um, I would just prefer to either go on the treadmill in the house or go through the day. So that's why I always do my morning walk and it helps me to boost my um, mental state. It helps me to boost my motivation daily. If I just get that walk in through in the morning, I just, I, I feel more motivated to do more stuff. Um, so that is why I go in the morning, um, mainly because I don't feel safe walking at night. So, um, but yeah, I was really interested to see what my distance of my walk was. Um, so this week was great. Um, I'm enjoying my time off. I'm getting lots of crocheting done. Everybody's following for my, my blanket that I'm making. So I'm now on to the kind of last stretch of this blanket that I'm working on. So I've got all squares done. I'm just putting final details on them and then I get to attach them. So I'm excited for that. You guys all know that Afghans take me a while, which this is still taking me longer than I expected, but that is due to a yarn shortage that we have. Um, we actually did not have the red and the green which are the main colors of the Afghan. So I had to order them from two different companies and wait for them to come. So I finally have them. I finally have my wool and I'm getting that finished. So all this, all the main squares are completely done now. So that is what I've been working on. And I'm also working on updating my journal book, my logging, because I fell off of it since February 23rd. I think that was my last one. So that is what I've been working on. I'm going to complete that today is getting my logging book updated and then get back on track with paper tracking as well. Um, and I also need to get back on track. I actually have it right here. Get back on track on coloring my shoe. So I need to log my kilometers in and see what I'm at so far. The last time I tracked, I was at 116 which I think this was the beginning of February was the last time I tracked this. So I need to get back on that, get everything back on track and then go day by day again. So I just got it. That's what I'm working on today is just completing these feats. I know these sound like little things to people that wouldn't matter, but my OCD kicks in and it's like, I need to get these back on track. So I'm probably going to be finishing that journal book once I'm caught up to date and then I've got my new one that I got from the WW shop. So anybody else get the journal from there? If anybody has that, I think it's the 52 week planner. Let me know what you guys thought of that because that's my next kind of hope to get. Although I did notice in the wellness wins and I don't know if anybody else has gotten it. I redeemed my wins and got the $15 off coupon and now it's grayed out for me. Does it eventually come back or are we only allowed to get one? I have that question. Does anybody know the answer? I know I could reach out to chat, but you guys might know as well. Anyways, this week is going great. Um, there are, it, it's going great. I feel great. I feel motivated. I shared a picture of how I'm feeling from when I started 22 days ago now for my 365 walk and I just my inner glow is coming out and I'm feeling I feel great um I am losing um I am losing on the scale um but more than anything it's inside I feel so much I feel so motivated and I know a lot of it has to do with the weather we all go through these winter blues and we don't want to do anything and we hibernate and we're just not motivated in the winter so I'm really happy that the warm weather's starting to come back out although today is windy and cold but I woke up to plus 1.5 and I will take that any morning 
Um, spring is just around the corner. Summer is just around the corner. I'm so excited. So, um, yeah, that is uh, what my week has been. So this week on the scale, I was kind of nervous this morning because I have, like I said, treated myself a couple times and actually last night we had ice cream. So um, I was worried. I actually, and I don't know if I'm the only person that does this, but when I weigh myself, I weigh myself at least five times and then I take whatever number I weigh in at the same time or the same weight three times and that's the weight that I take. So I actually weigh myself like five times in the morning, the second I wake up, I go to the bathroom, I get up and I weigh myself right in the morning. It has to be the first thing I do. No sips of water, no tea, no nothing. It has to be the second I wake up. That's my ritual every Thursday. Um, and I weigh myself multiple times until I get the same number three times. So I was kind of scared because when I first started weighing myself, I was coming in at gain of five pounds. But then I did a little bit of stretching, kind of, I don't know, jiggled my body. I don't know what we call it. It's whatever we do, the motivation to get our body woken up. <laughs> call me nuts. But I finally got my three numbers and I'm down one pound. So I'm taking that. It came up three times, so I'm taking it. So I am down one pound, but that plus four or five pounds was the scare and motivation for me to say, I need to get my butt in gear, stop snacking, stop treating myself. Although this weekend we're celebrating the boys' birthdays because the boys' birthdays were on Monday and Tuesday. We have a teenager in the house. Austin is now 13 and Aiden is into double digits. He's now 10. So we are celebrating. Their birthdays are one day apart. So we are celebrating their birthdays on, on the weekend. So I will have cake. I will have a small cake. The amazing Alice is making the cake. I can't wait to see it. Um, so I've given her free range of her artist, artist ability. I'll show the cake once we get it because it's going to be amazing all of her cakes look amazing so I'm very excited to finally try her cake I've tried a lot of Alice's baking and her hot chocolate bombs and cookies and gingerbread houses but I've I've never actually ordered a cake from her so I'm very excited to try this cake so I'm going to limit myself to a small piece but I'm going to start from today to be more mindful I had my oatmeal for breakfast I did not have toast or any kind of bread um, so starting today, I'm being more mindful of my starch intake because it has been out of this world this week. So, um, that four and five pounds kind of made sense to me when I first jumped on, but I was like, eh, I need to keep weighing three in a row. So I'm, I lost one pound, I'm down one pound, but I'm a hesitant one pound down because I did see that number at first. And I am, uh, I, if I did have that gain, I'm taking, I would take it and I would be accepting of it because I had way too much bread and potatoes this week. So I need to get off of meals with potatoes in it more than anything. So, um, we're, it's, we always just find it's easy to jump to having a meal with potatoes on the side. So I need to get back to figuring out meals. Drop me some recipe ideas or some meals that you've had lately that um, you've enjoyed. It can be stuff with potatoes or pasta or whatever. Just give me some more ideas because my my wheelhouse of recipes is kind of getting a little boring to me. So I need some more ideas to uh, bump up our weekly menu. So give me some ideas. Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, this has been a great week, a very relaxing week. I have stayed on par as much as I can for a vacation weekend. I guess we'll say staycation weekend, thanks to COVID. Um, but I am being mindful of my starch intake going forward and I'm going to be more mindful and hopefully regain back for next week's weigh-in and hopefully not have a gain on the scales. So wish me luck. 
I hope you guys all had a great week. Let me know of your challenges, successes. How'd you guys do on the scale? Let me know your recipe ideas or any food ideas. Drop a comment below. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and tap that bell button to be alerted of any new videos coming out. Thanks for watching. As always, my handles are at the bottom. Stitch and Lindy on Connect if you are a WW member. And on Facebook, my weight loss group is Stitch and Lindy's Weight Loss Journey. Thanks for watching, guys.